Hello everybody, my name is Mathis and welcome back to some more of the forest. We're building a home! A proper home! But first, we need to build like a campfire because, um, or not a campfire, we need to build like a camp because we need to be able to save it regularly in case this is something that we are, uh, there we go, in case this is something that we can't really manage. Uh, we have like lizard blood on us, I guess, from all the lizards we're skinning, which, you know, it's fair. So let's go ahead and wash that off. Going for a swim! My name is Tim. All right. I need one more rock, a few more sticks, and seven logs. So, like, two trees worth of logs. So, we're probably going to clear out most of these trees uh, in the process of building all these things that we need. But this is the first real, like, big, like, permanent home that we're actually trying to set up here. And I like the idea that I, I, I have. The idea of trying to live on this little mini river or whatever the hell this is. Pond, lake, whatever. Whatever it is, I'm, I'm excited to try and like make a home on it and then make little campsites and maybe make a permanent land home at some point too Which would be cool. So actually let's just go boom boom. I know this is not a sled, but for now it, it's it's working just to keep things stored Which is fine There's some sticks over here, which I def definitely desperately do need All right, we're full up on on being able to hold rocks and we will like We'll probably set up, if we're going to live on the water, we're going to have to set up an area where our main storage is, uh, which is where we're storing all of our resources and supplies. So I'll be curious to explore this river a little bit more uh, in depth the more we get to play around with it. So, all right, we need two more sticks and still the seven logs. We have three of what we need for logs, four actually. Again, just kind of storing them here for now. I don't like that if I swing too early, it still hits, but I also do that wild swing. I see you. My character has, like, become a badass. He very quickly made life here nice. <laughs> he very, very quickly understood his role in the world and was uh, easily to able to just adapt to this crazy nomadic life. There we go. So right now the 27 logs, they're, re they're referring to all the logs we need for all of our ongoing projects, which I like. And we still need two more sticks. And we'll go drop this over here for now. Alright. Sticks are becoming more difficult, but it's actually not going to be that bad, I don't think. We can actually go across over here, which is something we haven't done. Granted, it's going to cause us to swim a bit, but all things considered, that's not that bad. And we did see some cannibals over here on the last episode, so we should be very careful. There's our two sticks, but let's go ahead and do some stick foraging. The good thing about collecting sticks is that leaves come at a, you know, very, very easy. I'm very happy that leaves are not like a pain in the ass thing to collect. I don't need that. How we uh, stamina? Stamina needs to kind of calm down a little bit. I'm burning through it pretty, pretty heavily. I think in each area we call like a home base, we'll build a dock as well that we can kind of swing up to, and easily navigate. All right, that's that. Now we just need logs. It's log. It's log. It's better than bad. It's good. Ren and Snippy reference for all of you out there. Also, where this little campsite I decided to pick as my home is like a natural spawning ground for freaking lizards, which is really nice. How are we looking on lizard skins? Are we up to like 10 yet? Nine. We're getting there. We're getting there. I think once we have our home built, I'll, uh, I'll focus more on the lizard aspect. There we go. Let's actually go ahead and save it. Yeah, we'll uh we'll mess around with the uh with lizard armor soon. No, I've only seen mud once. I wonder if mud only happens after it rains for stealth. I love how birds automatically will chill here too. How's our food? Let's go ahead and start cooking uh some of the meat that we've got here. Or not? Here, put a lizard in there. 
Hey, birdie. Okay, see you later. Weird. Only a few more trees left over here. The We never saw the... Uh, all right. The cannibals swing out from over there. Um, they could be a com they could be cannibals from a com completely different tribe altogether. They might not be from this camp over here. I only assumed they were from the camp over here because we haven't been able to uh, identify what cannibals live over here. They weren't there when I swung over, which is not a bad thing. They just aren't there. So I'm I am. A little bit more on high alert, I think, than normal. For that reason. But, also, I think that's fair. A couple of trees. I know I'm using this thing and it's not a sled. And I should be, like, building a sled. But it's too late at night right now. And I can store these for easy access in the morning. My heavy breathing is creeping me out. Okay. Getting windy. No luck on, on rain, really, all that often. We've had, like, maybe two rainstorms so far. Alright. We'll go over here. Drop this in here. Eat this. And we'll sleep till morning. I don't know what that noise was. I fucked up my sleep schedule. Let's get some meat cooking. He's stuck. Okay. Yeah, I'm thirsty too. Um, do I already have a lizard on there? I think I already have a lizard. Why can't I pick up this? Huh? Oh! I need 15 leaves? Am I really that stupid? Oh, wow. Okay. Combine. Where? Wow. Fancy. Let's eat up. I don't... I do not want to swing out to... The, uh... Camp at night. <laughs> like, at all. But I will. Because we're running low on the water. Why did I think I needed 15 pieces of armor? That doesn't make any sense. Alright, well. I am just going to carry our logs over. I'm going to wait for day before I worry about going over to the cannibal pond. I wish I could just scoop up. You're cold and wet. Oh, okay. That's new. We are shaking. No, I just want my pot back. No. Alright, I'm cooking a lizard in the pot because I'm dumb. No. Okay. We're good. Animals flying nearby are going to scare me, man. Couple old dollar bills in there for some easy uh, access. Alright. Oh, that's really kind of nice to see, like, the, the seeds floating out there. Woo! Okay. Well, now we'll have a test of our fire. Will it last through the rain? And we won't need to go to the pond. We're going to be able to collect some water. So what I'm going to do... Huh? 
grab this, and what we're going to do is, I was told I can drop this in the rain. We can collect some water? I think? I thought I was told we could drop this and collect water. Oh, I think there's water in it now. Yeah, it looks like there's like a layer of water there. Do you see that line? I can't tell. That'll collect some water. It looks like it's steaming. So we'll throw another dollar bill in there. I hope we caught, collected some water. Oh, that's not good. Hello? I heard your screams. Hello? That's that's two two screams now. They were distant and creepy. Hey. Hey, I'm in the middle. It's the middle of the night and for some reason I'm wide awake. I'm going to stay on top of some rocks to see if I can see you coming. I have literally very little <laughs> to my name here. I apparently can be seen, but that makes sense because I'm out in the open. You're cold and wet. I got to stay near this thing. Hey, I have to stay over here. Please. Oh. I don't know what that noise is. Uh, I'll be honest with you. That is a scream I do not know. It sounds utterly horrifying. It's like distant screams of pain. So that's really fun. Like, really enjoyable. I'm not gonna murder you, birds. You're my, you're my bird friends. Alright, it's, it's daytime now, so I guess I should venture forth. Let's just go ahead and start... Continuing to build our boathouse. If I can get this thing finished this episode, I'll be a happy dude. No doubt. See if there's any feathers they left behind, but no such luck. I know I'm clearing out your precious forest, and you might be mad about that. And you know what? That's fair. The forest is a sacred place. Nature. Uh. Uh, cannibals, they live here, which is always exciting. Trees, there's trees in nature, just like there's nature in nature. No, hey, hey, get away. I hear like... Minor moaning? Like, distant, minor moaning. Well, I'm gonna grab these and run. Just store them for now. I'm surprised. Uh, you know what? I have a feeling we're gonna start seeing them on the cliff, maybe. And it could very simply be they're back at camp, and I'm hearing them back at camp. Uh, which is the place I was trying to knock down their shit for, but apparently just con constantly respawns. Totems, I'm being told, are just like a warning of the player, like, hey, there's cannibal camp over here. Which makes sense. Here's the thing. Right? Like, what's better? 
to go across there and chop down trees over there and then bring them over or to stay on this side of the river and continue to venture further and further away for the logs that I need. I don't know. I don't know what the right call here is. And the other question I guess I have is like, will this be my main place of residency once it's everything is done? Let's keep this going. Will this be where I ha store all my storage stuff and all that kind of stuff and look at building a permanent home? Will I, will I find a place better? That we have a nice little setup here, like a little hunting lodge. But again, this is something that we can consider uh, just a little camp for ourselves if we decide not to make it our home. Having a permanent hunting uh, campsite is a good is a good thing. Was that me? That made that grunting noise. Also, there's no way for them to be climbing any trees if I'm just knocking them all down. Come on, fall over, fall over, let's go. I'm gonna grab the furthest one. I mean, I'm, I'm interested to scout that area over there and see if, there's, if they've returned. At the same time. I think we're going to have to go across the river at this point for more trees. Look, we've cleared this entire area of, uh, of trees right now. And, um... Four, five, six, seven. We only need one more tree after this. So, may uh, maybe? I don't know. Maybe that tree over there. Maybe I can just knock that one down over there. Not have to swim with logs, if that's even possible. Let's take a look. Put the lighter away. I don't know why I'm still holding it. Safety. I feel safe, I guess. I don't need to kill the lizard. I just wanted to. It was like habit at this point. This might be the wrong thing to do. Did our, ar did our armor go away? Okay, I actually can't swing at that normally. Okay, I don't want to bust my fucking axe. There's a deer that just randomly showed up. Spawning in this game's a little suspect. Come on, how are you still alive? Thank you. I'm gonna skin the shit out of the deer. And maybe we'll uh, go ahead and cook up the meat. I don't know if the deer skin can get us anything, like, useful. Might have been spoiled. Hopefully it wasn't. We'll cook both of those, though. I'm going to see if I can bring logs over after chopping them down. If not, I'm going to have to do it on this side, closer to the, the camp of cannibals that I know exists. Maybe I should have done anyway, but. Go that way. All right. Okay. Can't bring him across the water. There. I bet you something I can build that'll allow me to. 
But not so much right now. So, I'm going to have to uh, grab one of the trees here and do it. Let's chow down. Keep our energy as high as I can. Alright, cannibals. Um, I don't want to do this. I have very little interest in m messing with your territory. However, times are dire. And uh, I'm just going to have to chop down one of your trees. And it's not even technically in your totem area. So, we can just call this even. I'm going to have it fall this way. Come on. Go on. Beautiful. We got a nice little halfway point. We can dump them. Okay. Not seeing anybody. Not hearing any screams either, which is a nice change. Am I still wearing the armor or do I need to make more? Oh, I think the armor is actually the bottom left. Those little pips around my health. I guess I should make more. Actually, I don't know why I dropped that. I need this. Alright. Why'd I bring this? Let's go ahead and put this here. And then we can mess with our house a little bit and see what's going on with it. Do some exploration. The general goodness of it all. And then E. Yeah, I can rotate it and everything. Can I not move it, though? Hey. Did I fuck it? Is there no way to... Okay, please let go. Oh, wait. Ah, click. Alright, can I... Okay, there we go. Clicking will row. Alright, well, here's our home, everybody. No bed, not furnished. We can't save it here yet. But we're getting there. Slowly, but surely. But, we're stopping here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, let me know in the comment section below. And by hitting the like button, your support means the world to me. And as always, I'll see all of you next time. Bye-bye.